Hello, hello. This is Tokyo Blue coming to you from Game Station Tokyo. Uh, this is where you'll find the stumble through of the evil within. We're on episode 40. Uh, so far, Sebastian's had it pretty hard with the Spider Woman. The last episode <laughs> took a lot out of me, too. Um, so we're starting this episode with a big brute. Yes, I guess he's got this one eye, tentacle eye, floating around out there. Uh, so let's take this guy on. But before we start, I was just wondering, are you guys french fries or hash browns?
Dead elevator. Oh, transition. Okay, uh, with any luck, my mic is now working. Um, for some reason or another, it just wasn't recording. Ouch. That's what you get when you land on your shotgun. Oh, we're kind of... Falling. Dash, I laid it on my shotgun again. <laughs> Surprised he hasn't broken your spinal column or anything like that. Right on open. Come on. Yeah. yeah. Sink. Let the water in, why don't you? Take a dive, too. You don't even know how deep the water is break your neck or something um, so just to clarify uh, we're in chapter 11 titles reunion um, I was having mic problems I'm not sure what happened uh, I was saying a lot but no one was listening because I wasn't being recorded uh, <laughs> so look at me I can actually swim really well can't turn my light off yeah take a shower here I take a shower. Oh, where's the water? It's over a little. There we go. Whee, I'm showering. Okay. So, does that look like uh, Kidman? The final white shirt. Final white shirt. Okay. So, uh, my mic just quit out. I don't know why it quit out. I was uh, commenting. So, I'll just go over some of the other things I was talking about. Checkpoint. Thank you. Looks like the asylum's the only building left untouched. How can that be? Wow. Tectonic activity. If we were in the Starship Enterprise, we could use our tractor beams and uh, fool around with the tectonic plates. We could have made the city of uh, Los Angeles, a safer place. Oh, there's a movie coming out too about earthquakes. Uh, I forgot what the title was. It's that tune back in that room when they had that rotating blade. Look at the detail. This is really great. Uh, they did a really good job. Uh, so I was saying before... Uh, uh, there's a key over there. I wasn't saying that before, but as I was saying earlier, when my mic cut out, and none of you heard it, um, I do have kind of a complaint about the game. I might call it an itch with the game, is that there are two ways to respawn in this game. Let me get this here. Where are you? Come on around. Thank you. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, darn it. Where's the key? There's something over there. It's over there. See it? Ah, uh, wait for it. it comes around. Anyhow, there are two ways to respawn when you die. And, uh, I guess the most common, which is the way this game is playing, is that when you die, you'll respawn at the beginning of the level, which is understandable. And then there's respawning where you just, oh, here comes the key, come here, there you go. And then the, get up. The other way of dying is when you, you die, you respawn, and um, you end up playing right where you left off, where you died. Wow, look at this. 
so I understand dying and respawning back at the beginning of the level. You got to earn your way through the level. Um, the problem with that is, or what I'm having with it, is that when you respawn that way, you end up um, getting taking, taken out of the story. And there's something called immersion. You want to be immersed in the story itself. And when you die, when you're a bad player like I am, and you die and you respawn and you play and you die and you respawn, you play and you die and you respawn, always at the beginning of the level, you end up losing immersion. Uh, another term is um, suspension of disbelief. You're, you're no longer... Uh, held in the story you know you're not captivated by the story you're not a part of it you're not a part of the story anymore so now it just becomes all right I got to get back to where I was so I can move on in the game it becomes a rote way of playing sort of like playing Nintendo uh, you're Mario and you got to jump up two levels jump on the mushroom slide jump up two levels jump on the turtle slide something like that it just becomes rote over and over again and you're not that character anymore you're not sebastian trying to run through this place of horrors you're just trying to get back to where you were so you can move on with the game um and that's what i've been finding with the spider lady and this big guy that was back there it was just more of a, a smash your face into the pavement And, you know, we'll kill you. We know you don't have a lot of resources. You'll die, and then you'll have to work your way through the level, which is fine. But then again, it takes me completely out of the story itself. And, uh, so that's really what I wanted to say. Um, I don't know. How do you guys feel? You guys can comment if you'd like. Looks like I'm not going to school. I'll have to take the bus to school now. Not that I go to school. <laughs> um, let's see. What's going on? A lot of sewage. Raw sewage. Mm, better get moving. I like the details, though. Uh, this whole thing reminds me of, right now, the scenery reminds me of that game Fallout. I don't know if you guys have played that. That was a fun game. Um, What the heck? Holy smokes. Still don't have to go to school. A lot of... It's falling. Something falling. Totally missed it. Alright. Okay, so... Looks like the safe, huh? Can I get anything? With all that rumbling, it's hard to hear if there's any uh, zombies around. Walk up there? I can. <laughs> Whoops, I meant to just ease that open, sorry. Sorry! Otherwise, the graphics in the, great, the game is it's just fantastic. Um, story is a little bit hard to figure out. I know Sebastian is kind of losing it. Oh my god. Uh, one. Uh, it was good to be prepared. You know what I mean? Another room. It's in there. Oh, a case. Another case with one shotgun shell in it. Is that it is? Alright, so I gotta work my way around there. Anything over here? 
Nothing? Okay. He's open! Ooh! How colorful. Someone's growling. I don't know if you can hear it. I can. Uh, let me know, too. Uh, how's the sound doing? Do you guys hear things on your end? I don't, I don't know how it is on YouTube. Um, can you see it? Is it bright enough? I think I got the, I think I got the brightness and the volume set. Okay, so I don't think uh, there's any problems there. But comment. Let me know. be good to talk to you guys. Uh, here's that room. It is. Alright, there's my shotgun shell. Anything over here. Ooh! There you go. Look at that. 27,000 bottles of brain juice on. Well, Happy New Year. It. Needles. Woo! Hello. Uh, thank you. Oh, that's another thing too. I wanted to talk to you guys about um, map fragments and statues. I'm gonna try to do my best to find as many. I'm gonna, I want to get all the um, map fragments. Uh, I already got this. What is it? Magnum. This custom-made high-caliber revolver fires powerful large-bore cartridges. It appears to have been... Oh, it appears to have seen a lot of use. Which means i got to clean it. Um, okay, so here's another thought. How powerful is it? Now, I have this pistol, which Conley had, if you remember. And then I have this pistol... And I'm assuming this pistol is more powerful than that pistol because it just came later on in the game. But there's no damage bar or anything that lets me know. I probably won't be able to find out until I go see Jill in the save room, you know. But uh, it'd be nice. And again, it's like this shotgun. I have this one and I have this one, this double-barreled one from... Um, the survival pack which I haven't been using because uh, you shoot two shots then you got to reload uh, I don't know Maybe I'll just try it switch it off I got no ammo for it Oop. there you go all right um, so getting back to map fragments and statues uh, if you look at my first stumble through which was um, Call of Duty Ghost I never, I, I didn't know what rock files were, so I never worried about them. And I, I just went through the game and everything was dandy. Um, but now I come to start playing this game, The Evil Within, and I find out there are map fragments. And yeah, someone's growling. Map fragments and statues. Um, so I've been trying to get as many. I'm going to finish off this game finding as all the map fragments I can. Because it's going to unlock something. Uh, yeah, you hear them? So it's going to unlock something. And um, I want to see what it is. But I think it would make gameplay a lot more smoother if I didn't have to worry about map fragments. But... Um, so I think in the next game, I may not worry about those unlockable weapons at the end of the game, after having to go through the entire game. Uh, but let me know how you feel. You can comment, and uh, we can exchange ideas. Let me know. Whoops. Isn't all this dust in the air making you cough, Sebastian? Say what's down here. I don't hear anybody growling anymore. That's a daytime up there. It looks like nighttime down here. Go over here. Uh, 
look see. Let's walk down this alleyway. Yeah, it looks like nighttime. Yikes! It'll be a whole lot thinner if I don't. Oh, you see that glitch? Kind of looked right through the building. It'll be a whole lot thinner if I don't get through this. Someone's growling. Oh. Checkpoint. Thank you. And there's the end to episode 40. Please do come back to catch me, Sebastian, in episode 41. Uh, I'm sorry about the way the mic cut out at the beginning of this episode. I'm not sure why it did that. I'll try to iron things out before I start recording. Uh, to get back to the initial question, are you guys french fries or hash browns? I am a hash brown guy. Uh, please leave your comments and let's do a little tally. Uh, I like hash browns because they have that oniony taste, but we'll leave that for later. Okay, so this is Tokyo Blue signing off from Game Station Tokyo. Toodles.